Okay, what do we got here, Doug? So these are Jerusalem artichokes, and they are uh, in the sunflower family and uh, northeast North American native plant sunflower, and uh, they are uh, a perennial in, in some respects. Um, that they are a root root and uh, the tuber. If you leave a bit of the tuber, it will re-sprout. So all of these plants, uh, well, two seasons ago, I planted one row down the middle of a root that's like a potato and harvest it pretty, as I think, pretty well. But um, every plant you see here is a sprout from a tuber that was left in the ground. So one thing to consider when you're planting through some artichokes is to give it good space between your annual vegetables or whatever your garden has and the juice and artichokes because they will spread and it's very hard to get rid of them once you plant them. But they are perennial. They have a beautiful flower, small sunflowers that just dried that you can see the remnants of. Um, and the root, the tuber, is a um, it's very nutritious. It's high in a complex carbohydrate called inulin. So if you have diabetes and you can't really eat um, fruits that break down into simple sugars like potatoes, the, um, the roots of juice and artichokes are much, much better um, as far as health-wise. So to harvest, you uh, we dig up the, the plant. Tubers, so a tuber compared to a root, a tuber are fruits kind of that grow off the root. So this is the root of the plant. The tuber itself grows off of the roots. So that's the difference between a tuber and a root crop. Do you have to harvest these, harvest these every year, or if you yeah. leave them in the ground, can you still get the, uh, the tubers? Yeah, you can. And they'll, um, the thing, if you leave them in the ground, they'll re-sprout re and re-sprout, and you can see how a good size thick thickness of a plant, the first year we planted them, the plant itself was about that thick, the stem. And you can see how much thinner the plants have gotten, just because they are competing a lot with sunlight with the other plants and so they're not each plant's not able to produce to its fullest but we're trying our best in harvesting as many as we can so these are the Jerusalem artichokes um, you uh, good ways to eat them I found if you have to double boil them so if you, you bring them to a boil like you would with potatoes in a, in a pot dump out the water refill it bring it to a boil again um, that's will get rid of that inulin, um, or it'll help um, pre-digest the inulin, so it's easier for your body to absorb. You can also bake them in the oven, which I found to be pretty good. And they have a taste similar to artichokes, um, a consistency like uh, water chestnuts almost, and um, yeah, very good. So uh, a really great northeastern food crop. Uh, perennial as well. Great. Thanks, Doug. You're welcome.